Should I eat it? I don't know what to do. Whoa! I just turned into a cannibal! This is bad! This is really bad! What am I doing? Hello all you wonderful people, I am Booty Cat, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft series. I haven't done a Minecraft series in so long, I mean I do uh, map showcases, and I do, you know, mod showcases and all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, and when the channel first started, I was doing Minecraft series all the time. I was doing Attack of the B Team. In fact, I still stream Attack of the B Team to this day. Uh, you know, and I did Core Zero, Blightfall, uh, Crazy Crab, Crazy Crab 2. You know, I did a bunch of stuff, and then I just kind of stopped doing it. Uh, and a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to get back into doing that. Along with that request, a lot of you guys, uh, not a lot, but some of you guys were requesting Revenge of the C Team, since I love Attack of the B Team so much, and I was like, hmm. So I checked it out. I mean, I heard of it, but I haven't really checked it out up until now, and it is such a fantastic mod pack. It is a 1710 mod pack, and the mod list is Fantastic! It is filled with mods that I love and filled with mods that I haven't heard of but look amazing. So here we are. I, the only thing that I've done uh, is I, I was spawned right behind me um, and there was a crazy tornado. I was spawned in the middle of the water. There was a tornado in the water and I uh, got to the shore and it turned nighttime uh, and I went inside of this building here which happens to be a restaurant. So I got a bunch of food. I was so lucky and I'm going to buy a bunch of mushrooms. And I love mushrooms. Yes, I do. So anyway, I'm so excited to start this series, and I hope you guys are excited too. Uh, so let's try to find a, a safe place to be for the night. Oh! <laughs> Hi there! I'm just gonna push you around. Um, oh, I could actually buy stuff from you when you're sleeping? That's cool. Uh, Alright, well that isn't... Whoa! Okay! Hi! There, sir. Oh my gosh, it's just like old times. When I used to stream Attack of the B Team, I had a friend, two Iron Golem friends, Bredrick and Cassie. And they were married, and they were lovely. Oh, you're awake. Hello there. Uh, oh, wow. Four emeralds for two hearts? Looks tasty? Oh, man, you've got, you're, you're quite disturbing, aren't you? Can, can you, why are you watching your friends sleep? That's, that's the disturbing part. So anyway, guys, let me show you a little bit of this mod since it's nighttime. I've got nothing else to do, really. Um, oh, nice. Look at that. Is this a big... Oh, my gosh. It's a big smeltery. Dude, this is awesome. Is there actually a controller and stuff here, too? Oh, there, oh, there's just casting basins. Uh, casting table. Anyway. Oh, it's morning now. Yay. So uh, I got this book that's kind of weird. It's called Delving into the Darkness. So... Uh, the words don't appear in the book, right? So I don't know if that's something that I did, but yeah, it doesn't, they don't appear in the book, right? But you get a kind of sense of what it is. It says, journey through the magics. Then there's dark magics, items, rituals, and blocks. So there's all these different blocks. Uh, here's all the items. Corruption. Blood altar. Shaped crafting. Uh, and I'm assuming that's why, because I also got this when I was spawned into the world, which is a soul chunk claimer. I have no idea what that is yet, but I'm sure we'll find out in the meantime. Let's just go explore a little bit in this first episode. There's a coven witch in this village? Ah! Ah! Mushrooms! Mushrooms! I love you guys so much! Alright, let's go explore, and then let's start our own house. So as you can see that that big beacon, I did die once. I was sp where I was spawned. I was spawned right by the water, in the water actually, and I swam up to the surface, went on the beach, and got trapped in quicksand and died. <laughs> that was how the episode started, and I had to restart. But uh, yeah, so there's a beacon over there. I don't know how to get rid of that, but yeah. But check out the map, by the way, guys, in the top right corner. That is awesome. And of course, there's Wayla. Uh, which is really awesome. So no matter what I look at, uh, it pops up showing me what it is. Let's go ahead in that direction. Man, I'm just kind of going in like a big circle, aren't I? Ouch. I just want to get out of this. I mean, this village is so big. I can't really figure out how to get, get out of here. But I, I do want to remember where this at. I wonder if I can... Um, let's, uh, let's hit M really quick for map. And I'm going to create a marker here. Name. Uh, village one and uh let's create a group called villages and 
bada bing, bada boom. So in our new group villages, we have village one. So we'll always know where this is at, which is gonna be really helpful. Hey, that looks like a smiley face in the clouds. Look how cool this weather mod is. But yeah, guys, you should have seen that tornado. It was insane. But I wasn't recording at that time, so unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to see it. Holy crap, dude! There's orca whales? No way! Chinese dragon? That is so freaking awesome! Oh man, that's kind of like a spoiler, eh? A bunny bike? These are bikes? Bunny bike, Iron Man bike, oh my gosh, dino bike, this is so cool. All right guys, so I found another biome. Here I am, uh, we're in a snowy biome, and there, I, there's a bunch of missing chunks, so I had to kind of uh, stop the recording for a second, but it seems the chunks have loaded in now, but check it out. I am uh, right across the biome where I was just at, that mushroom one, there is some sort of mine shaft here. Um, what is that? It's just a bunch of oil? Huh. Let's see if I can place a block down and stop that. There we go. So, yeah, this is pretty awesome. We found some sort of mine shaft. Uh, is it from... I was hoping from those from the Rails mod. Anyway, let's see what's... Oh, you know what? We can't even go down there because we don't even have, like, a pickaxe or anything yet. So let's go find some freaking trees so we can just have a normal freaking start to our Minecraft world. This has seriously been the weirdest start to any Minecraft world I've ever started. So, uh, let... Oh, God, that's a zombie. Okay, let's run away. Oh, there's more than one. Hi, guys. Excuse me. Okay, bye-bye now. I'm gonna lead you towards the... Okay, this is bad. This is really, really bad. This is really, really bad. Super duper 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 super duper bad. No! Stop it! Stop! Stop! No! I'm just gonna keep spamming. I love... What is that? C-3PO? Are you... Oh, what? What just happened? C-3PO, why did you kill me? All right, guys, so I'm back. It was an incredibly long journey back, uh, and I finally got just at least a stone sword, stone pickaxe, stone axe, and a wooden shovel. And when I got back, there were a bunch of skeletons, uh, and I quickly built this really bad cobblestone shelter. I should have stayed in the village, man, but I got all my food back at least. Uh, so I killed this skeleton, and somehow I obtained this humanoid flesh player booty cat evil craft from evil craft i have no idea what this is uh like i don't should i eat it i don't know what to do whoa i just turned into a cannibal this is bad this is really bad what am i doing i didn't mean to do that i'm sorry ah dude that was crazy that was insane uh Wow, okay, well, let's not turn into a cannibal again. That was really, really bad. Uh, what so there was a ghost, like the skeleton was a ghost. Uh, but it looks like I have my morph now. Oh, I also killed a spider, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, so now I can morph into a skeleton or a spider if needed. And I have like a bunch of black stuff around me now, which is really bad. Uh, I don't know what that means. Can I, can I leave now? Is this safe? Nope. Okay. All right, guys, so it is morning. Finally, let's actually do some real stuff and get some things, like supplies that much needed. Except I'm afraid, ah, there's a skeleton out here already. Ah, you freaking jerk. Gotta hate skeletons. It's stuck in that oil though, which is pretty cool. Uh, all right, so first things first, let's get some trees. I see some skeletons over there. There was that awesome mine shaft over there. I don't need to necessarily put a marker there because I died near it. So the beacon is lit over there. So I'll just remember. Oh, there's a bunch of iron over there. Nice. You guys see that iron? And my stone shovel can get that. So there's some wood in there. Nice frozen river. Oh, you know what? I don't have a stone shovel. All right.
I just realized I don't have a stone shovel. I have a wood shovel. So let's quickly make a stone shovel. Blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. Uh, let's get this iron. Boom. Boom goes a dynamite. More trees. We definitely need more trees. Some spruce. And then we'll make a humble little home in the beginning. Looks like there's some more trees over this way. You know, I want to be in a relatively safe area. That right there does not look safe. Whatever the heck that is. Looks like a cemetery. In fact, I think that's probably what it is. Yep. Yeah, it looks like a cemetery to me. Whoa! We got some bones, some webs, some stone shovel. All right, cool. So we got some copper. We have some iron. It's a nice little start. Uh, we have enough wood to probably make a tiny little home. Uh, up there looks like a relatively safe place, so maybe I'll go over there. Is that lemons? Oh my gosh, I hope that's a lemon little thing or berries. Looks like something. What is that? Uh, mallow berry. Making a home right over here would be pretty nice, actually. Let's make a home, like, right here, like, on top of this weird little thing. It'll be a nice little starter home. Or we can, uh, let's do it over here. Ouch. Alright, so we're definitely going to make some stairs going up this mountain. Uh, but yeah, this would be a nice little place to start a home. There's a village over there. I think that's a village. Uh, so we'll be right near some supplies. There's some mallow bushes over here. It's a nice little safe environment. So uh, I'm going to start building. Uh, let's make it, you know, it's not going to be too big of a home. Uh, but it'll be a nice little start. We definitely need to get some wool soon. Whenever I play in any mod pack, it doesn't matter if it's big or small. I always have such a hard time finding sheep in the beginning. And of course I need the sheep to make a freaking bed. Whoa, that was a weird glitch. I've never actually started a home in a snow biome before. Never started a home either in a snow biome or in the desert biome. So this is definitely a first for me. Time to make some planks. We don't really have a lot of planks actually. I thought we had a little bit more than that, but oh well. Um, it's gonna be a tiny little home. Let's go like this. We can actually expand it outward. Go like this. All right, so we're definitely gonna need some more spruce. We just ran out of it. And we only have 18 planks left. Um, I mean, we can get a bit creative with the stone, the cobblestone, but uh, I don't really like the look of cobblestone. I mean, I know this is just a first home, and this, you know, probably will probably move eventually. But uh, you know, I want it to look halfway decent. Like this, get rid of this, 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 this. All right, so we are already out of planks, like 100%. So we're definitely going to need some. Um, ouch. We're going to need a safer way to exit our home. So we are on a hunt for some planks. We need some wood. So by the way, did you guys... I mean, that ro that Robocop looking thing that killed me that it said C-3PO. I have no idea what mod that's from. But man, that thing was like... It hit me in one time. I, I think my health is already a little bit down. But still, it's pretty powerful. I don't know where he came from. What his deal is. Man, all right, nighttime is approaching. Winter is coming. Well, I think it's kind of always winter here, but either way, winter is coming. Night is coming. We need to get into our house. Just want to grab like one more tree. Oh, look at that. On our map, I just realized that on our map, it shows where creepers are, skeletons are. 
So there were a couple creepers near me just now. And the nice thing about being up that high is, uh, yeah, the creepers won't really get us. So let's actually morph into a spider really quick. And if we're a spider, we can get up this, this mountain pretty quickly. See, we don't need to worry about uh, having one block to jump. Then we can be like, I'm a creep, I'm a creep. All right, so I'm making some charcoal really quick. Uh, so while it's doing that, might as well just finish up our house. You know, and we'll, we'll make it look fancier, um, you know, in the next episode. But for now, let's just finish up our house. Wait for Morian to come. Oh, dude, look at that guy. Gun! That dude's got a gun. We need to finish this house, like, now. Like, now, now. All right, guys, so we have finished uh, just making the shape of the house, at least. Just like a little shell for us to survive in over the night. Uh, and, uh, ooh, we got some char some charcoal right now. Alright, cool. So let's, let's make a few torches really quick. And it's completely dark in our house. So. Alright, so it's pretty well lit in our house. That's awesome. Like that. Alright, so now that we have some extra charcoal, pop this in here we start melting down this iron all right so I mean this is it for our first episode I cannot wait to get further into it the first episode is always kind of boring at least in my opinion like with every series you know there's not much to do you're just trying to survive you know the first couple nights but at least we got a kind of a taste of things to come I cannot wait till we get further into the series we can start making some of this awesome stuff with all these incredible mods thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this episode thank you so much for uh, sticking with me you know I mean I know a lot of you guys subscribed in the first place because I was doing a lot of the Minecraft series uh, and then when I stopped doing it I, I really really appreciate that you guys still stuck around uh, thank you guys so much for the suggestions of Revenge of the Sea team uh, this looks incredible like I said I can't wait to get further into it and if you like this series you definitely want to see some more of this series please let me know down in the comments and while you're at it please pull that like button because you know it means the world to me anyway and while you're at it if you have not already be a part of the fun and the community by pulling that subscribe button until next time I am Buddha Cat. I will see you all later goodbye guys goodbye 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 bye 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 bye, bye.